<laughs> you can have that. All right. So see what's going on. All in all, we thought the Earth was full of things, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that kicked off quickly. It was really <laughs> all, all along. Well, at least it wasn't flat. Then <laughs> my face would be really red. <laughs> See, that's not a sword comb. That's a comb sword. <laughs> there it's, it's is his, his Buster comb. It's like a yeah. gun, gun comb. I understand. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a gun comb, like in Final Fantasy VIII, but cool. All right, fuck it. Let's try this shit. I really just load I, my gel materia in there. I, I kind of have to do solo bang. I mean, there's really no other way around this, right? I mean, am I crazy there or what? I, it, it's a good place to start. Yeah. I personally don't see the advantages of flying a class in a plane. That's just me. But you know, if you, <laughs> well, personally, I'd go necro dancer because I'm all about you know damaging myself to make my plane shoot harder. But I don't know if that's the game. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of weird shit in Dimahu, and part of it too is that there's like a magic system that apparently lets you switch from fire to ice. So, so what does has, that get you? I don't know. Yeah, God's <laughs> honest truth. Um, it, I believe... I really think that's just the bomb button, but I believe it's, like, got a Nicaruga kind of effect to it, where, like, mm. ice, you can absorb one and the other. Unfortunately, right now, I'm forgetting exactly how to... How to switch? Yeah, yeah. you seem pretty stuck in fire there, based on all the orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This seems like a game that, like, a young kid, like, who's into dinosaurs and trains and stuff would really like it. Because it's got all those, like, tropes, like the awesome machine guns and angels and demons and goblins and shit. I mean, I'm down with that. If you're going to go whole hog on making something ludicrous, at least, you know, have fun yeah, doing it. Yeah, go all the way, you know. Yeah, if yeah. You ha that's where you cross the line between, you know, like, yeah, it's stupid, and like, okay, this is so stupid. Yes, like right it there, it's like the dragon yeah. with the jetpack and... <laughs> <laughs> Just put a jetpack on a dragon in anything, and I'm on board. <laughs> really, <laughs> let's be honest here. So I just got a jetpack and it's machine oh. guns and... <laughs> oh, Dude, it's, those it's, skelly warning. It's Bus Turtle, the first boss. <laughs> bus Turtle? <laughs> yes, he is a Buster Turtle. Hence. So, actually, the, I'm sorry, the Ikaruga effect, I believe, is your shots absorb the life flies thing, not your ship. So I think you still have to dodge stuff. Oh, but you can wipe, like, kind of like the super shot in some other games. Yeah. So the turtle didn't care that they built all this shit on him? Maybe he just came like that. Oh, he flies, too. Oh. Yeah. That's that's why he agreed. Yeah, <laughs> he like, okay. For it. We'll make you fly, but we gotta put some other stuff on you. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing well on this. I think also the thing about Dimahu, though, is there's no, like... I believe there's no tiny... Hit I'm trying to test the hitbox a little. Oh, right. Yeah, the hitboxes, I, I understand, in shooters are kind of a form of contention. Or a point of contention. It's it's more like in the bullet hell games, they kind of... Yeah, it, is the, it looks like the center, but... Um, yeah, I, I'm betting it's the dot in your ship, but... Yeah, um, yeah, but at any rate, in, the, in these games, more or less, the, yeah, the, they make it smaller than your sprite, so you can pull off, like, cool-ass, like, dodges and such, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's the first boss down, and look, yeah, that's, that's a stylish way to end the stage, I think. I do want to say, not entirely into many shooters, but I'm most comfortable with these kind. Oops, the regular kind? Like, the, like the vertical kind that oh, aren't yeah, yeah, yeah. too hard. Right. No, I, I'm liking the hard ones lately. I'm not good at them, but I'm liking them. Yep, same. I've been getting on board. Feels like some of them have super ridiculous soundtracks. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Like, I took a look at Big Sky yesterday, which, honestly, it's like an experience, Isn't, almost. Wasn't that game really cool? It was yeah, like... Yeah, I, I decided to play it just because I was like, well, I do own it, and I have already installed it, so I mean... <laughs> uh, and then, I ended up playing it for like four hours. I was like, oh shit, this game owns. Like, this is mean, actually really good. Yeah. It was like watching an extended, like, interactive 90s MTV music video bumper. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because I had only played it a little, like, just to make sure I could for the stream. So then, like, I was having a blast on it, like, during it and stuff. 
And the developers were there. Yeah, they were nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, how did you get that? Did you just, like, tweet at them, say, hey, you want to come by, or...? So actually, um, Blackbird, Brad, the community manager for Crimson Clover, kind of set all this up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so they basically set up the Shmup Bundle Bundle. Like, the Aqua Kitty developer is supposed to be there, and, um... But they stood you up. Yeah, same with the Cider Arcade developer. I think Dev, I think, was going to be there, too, but we couldn't make it either. But, um... But yeah, they did. And uh, I talked to the Humble Bundle people about how to set up a Rexy Prey Humble, Humble Bundle as well. Oh! <laughs> so, that could be in the works! So, oh, you man. Know, obviously we're gonna see Darkseed, uh, what else? Harvester? We can't, we can't see Darkseed, though. You have to actually, you know, you have to know the developer, is the thing. Let me try another one of these ships with a little bit. Um, so, Darkseed, I think, basically, is one of those things that's kind of in, like, this, oh, there we go. I switched. Um, it's in, like, development hell, you know? Oh, I see. Charge to switch. That's how you do it. Got it. Anyway, sorry. It's in, like, um, copyright kind of hell, you know? Where oh, like, where nobody's sure who has the right to it? I or? think it's something like that, mm -hmm. you know? Just, like, there's no, like... Well, I mean, that's, <laughs> maybe that's not the only reason there's no, like, re-releases or anything, but... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like with the Sam and Max games, where LucasArts still had the patent, but they weren't doing anything with it, but they didn't want to get rid of it. Yeah. Or did you ever hear about, like, those funny, like, those weird copyright stories where they have to do something with it to keep the trademark, but so they just make a movie that's, like, really shitty and straight to video? I was gonna say, I'm in the medical industry, and that happens so constantly, but with medicine, which isn't funny, I guess. <laughs> but I was just like... It'll be like, oh, this is nitroglycerin, it's heart medication, uh, we're gonna lose the copyright on this. Uh, 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 just put, like, a milligram of aspirin in it. Okay, name it something else. Good, good, great. And that's what they'll do. And they get away with it all the time. And then it's like, okay, now they can't make a generic of it. Again, great. <laughs> Whoa, ah. I'm not doing too good with this. So you cut this poor lizard's tail off. What's the dragon? I mean, you know, they're bad. You don't know that. I like Solo Bang the best so far, I will say that. Mm -hmm. I don't is know this... what I'm basing that on. Okay. Is this the Necromancer? Oh no, this is a Dragonman! <laughs> Holy so, shit! Hell of shit, blood against blood. Yeah. I also think I hit some kind of speed up button on MAME just now. Because things seem a little bit faster. But... Well, that's, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, totally. Hey, whatever. It's kind of fun, frankly. Oh, hey. Stage three, big fat guy. Right. And also, I didn't know that they had this in medieval times or fantasy times, but, you know, there is, in fact, uh, a giant tank thing and ice lasers. I'm going to guess that time travel was involved here somehow. Well, it's the Goblonian, Goblican Empire, so, you know. And I guess that Does was... that just leave a skeleton of... <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Apparently. Just instantly skeletonizes whatever you shoot. Um, thank you, Patashu. What is the slow down button? Just curious. If, if insert <laughs> is the, I'm gonna guess delete. Right? Is the opposite of insert on these crazy PC keyboards? You need to find your withdrawal button. Ah. Actually, though, you know, honestly, I'm not doing too bad with the speed up. Right? I haven't died in a bit. Yeah. So I don't know. So yeah, the the graphics seem pretty nice here. Yeah, no, it's definitely um definitely fun. Oh, I also got a plain necklace just now. So um the thing about this game is that uh oh, Dominic Knight saying it's normal. Um the thing about this game is apparently you pick up like item items and they don't really do anything, but if you get weird combinations of them, they, like, affect your score. Basically, like, the kind of thing that they talk about on the shmup forums of this game is no one really understands the scoring mechanism in this game. So it's like you just kind of pick up random items that don't actually give you a score value, but it affects your score somehow? More or less, yeah. It's kind of like, um... Oh wait, this is Super Demolish, Demolish Walker dribbling. Dribbling? Right, yeah. That's dribbling. You, sh you should try a pizza and taco only pickup run, because that's a, it's a really good combo for points. Just nothing but pizza and tacos. You see some fried rice? Don't pick that up. I'm pl oh, I'm flying the Necromancer now, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I see what's going on. So he's got a center uh, fire shot. 
that I could avoid if I could switch to from ice to fire. This but guy kind of looks like a gorilla. And Necromancer is really fucking slow. But we'll yeah, I, yeah I well, mean, he's dead. Yeah. Or he's forgive me, but I'm not, a, I'm not exactly seeing the difference between these ships. Is there like a different bullet spread or something? Well, Solo Bang, I'm liking the best, honestly. The guy with the comb. He's, he's pretty much my boy. Um, the, the speeds are different. The specialty shots seem kind of ugh, different. God damn it, dribbling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I uh, Patashu, who's the resident shmup expert, could maybe tell us um, like if there's a true ass boss or anything. But I have a feeling this is kind of just your generic quarter muncher, where we can just use our our fake. Um, wow, that picture did not match at all. No. Patashu is also confirming this is not an easy game to play blind, so I don't feel so bad. Oh, spider. Okay. A spider yeah, it, with a box. A spider with a box on him. Yeah. It seems like uh, one thing that would have been helpful on that boss, maybe, is uh, switching between the fire and ice and just alternating sides, because he was like doing one side shot fire, one side shot ice. So I don't know exactly how the mechanic works, but oh, I see. if you had yeah, alternated no. and flipped, you would have blocked like half of his shots. Well, so I, I'm fighting mimics now. Ah, uh, yes. Wow, you're just dropping in quarters, son. I I got money. That's that YouTube dollars right there. <laughs> this is going right in the main. That would be kind of a neat sort of like stream gimmick of some kind of like how much money you actually spend on MAME. Please invert <laughs> 25 cents to continue this Let's Play. Yeah. Or some kind of like bet, like if you lose it, you have to like donate it to a charity or something. Wouldn't that, that be much like... Money? Wouldn't that be like some kind of perpetual motion machine where you put in money to let's play an arcade game to get ad revenue to get quarters to put in money to let's play the arcade game? That's, Using that's, let's play as a business. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> let's just let's just explain the scam. Oh, oh, oh that's not good. <laughs> Way to ruin it. <laughs> no, I don't. Honest to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been in on this racket. <laughs> I spent years planning this out. <laughs> Instead, I was the there best. There you go. Spilled the beans. My one chance. <laughs> My seven-year plan. <laughs> you know, boys, I'm the stool pigeon. Oh, beholders, too. <laughs> hey, all right. These, these people know their fantasy. I can almost forgive the weird tank turtle bullshit and the <laughs> tanks. <laughs> See, those turtles are probably jealous that they don't get to fly like the other one did. <laughs> Wow. In all fairness, those turtles are my favorite thing in this game, other than the flappy bags. I like the, I like the flap sacks and uh, the big on the turtles. They're great. That's, almost, that's like a Ridley turtle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's great. Oh, shit. Now, we're getting a little bit of water going on, so... Oh, yeah, water. So, obviously, we've got water dragons, and... Can, can, we, can we shoot mermaids? Can... <laughs> this is the most fucked up game. Oh my god, it's like water skimming robots. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's those things that I can't remember the name of from Metal Gear Rising, yeah. Oh, um... Oh, yeah. no, well, I have no idea. I yeah, no, the names are real, they're weird. They're like the most misnamed thing in the game. <laughs> well, if it was misnamed, it'd probably be like a lead weight. That's, yeah, that's no, it number. means like Dragon Skipper, but in Russian or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, Dimahu. This game yeah, likes the turtles. Yeah. It does love turtles, right? <laughs> it's like even dragons, which you'd think are like the big thing you'd see in this shit, you know. <laughs> we meant when we said goblins, we meant reptiles. Translation <laughs> error, but you know, what are you gonna do? Whatever. Pro producers in the boardroom saying, "Look, guys, the humble turtle. I'd say <laughs> it, it, it's his time to shine." <laughs> dragons, we've got dragons. We've done toads. Nobody's done turtles. Oh, oh God, Cy Piter. And all the E's are red. I don't know the significance of that. Me neither. Okay, so my ice move is that sword thing. And then I'm not sure what the full fire is. Oh no, it's... Oh, it's, oh, oh. I see. Whoa, okay, that's... Wow, that's a, a annoying hard move. Yes, this boss throws you off. First it just, you know, when you come in it's just standing there, but then it starts moving around and shooting lasers and shit. Alright, I see the trick. So you gotta get magic before you can do the, uh, the element stuff, I say. Wow, this is fucked up. So, this is... Whoa, shit! This is a fucking tricky boss. 
I like it. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this game doesn't uh, give you a lot of time to get your bearings, like a lot of other bullet hells do. Like, they're kind of... No. Like, even Crimson Clover, as fast-paced as it is, you get a second to think, like, what is this attack? Yeah, what yeah, the that fuck is, is this? bullshit. Wow, that, yeah. Just like, oh, here's some lines, fuck you, they're like drawn, the hope you're not there. Come out. Yeah. This, yeah, this is, this is a quarter muncher kind of game, I think. Yeah, like, the, the, that triple shot there, the, whatever, the sextuple shot split into three, the, the one that just makes death lines on the screen. Like, yeah. what? No, yeah, like, you I can't. Yeah. You have to just remember, you have to know what the pattern is going into it, I think. I don't see, like, mm -hmm. any way you could have, I could, I, I don't see any way I could have made it through that. Whatever, yeah, though, that's that, uh, death. that is blatantly a quarter munching moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like, really, yeah, like lines appear on str on screen. Anyway. Alright, so now I didn't see what the wanted poster said for this level, but. It looked like a three headed seahorse. Okay. I think I can handle that. Probably, probably some kind of Hydra thing. Yeah, Solo Bang's got this. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wanna I definitely wanna do some Crypt of the Necro Dancer tonight at some point, if I can. Because I have I have yet you gifted that to me, didn't you, Polo Hoko? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So I gotta mm -hmm. try that out. And I gotta say, I've sunk a bunch of hours into it. I'm still dying. So it's it's <laughs> honestly a, a hard game. What's yeah, there there are times you just gotta get bad runs in particular. Have they added more other than the extra characters that I quite frankly didn't think were good uh, so far? They've added extra rooms and some more items. Okay, that's good. That's like, good. Like a musical roguelike type of thing? Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it's... Yeah, it is, yes, it is. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that We'll get to that when we get, then yeah. get to it. it. It's turtle time right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and snails. It, oh, snails, wow. Hey, all right, all right, Dimahu. Equal opportunity rep... All right, fine. Stop. Snails aren't reptiles. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you're right. They're, what, cephalopods? Mollusks. Mollusks, thank you. <laughs> That's enough science theater for now. See, we learn and we have fun. Right, and shoot, and dodge. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> that makes me think of what you would be like on like a children's show, Slippy. <laughs> Isn't that what Let's Play really is? <laughs> 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 Let's be honest here. Uh, uh, what are we gonna say? Oh, by the way, Ty, thanks for thanks for doing the full four-hour thing with me yesterday. I don't oh, no know problem. How you did that, Ty? Oh, I'm a behemoth of streaming. <laughs> I'm very good at what I do, and what I do is apparently blather on about shooting games. In all fairness, really big sky. Game was amazing. I didn't have to talk a whole lot because the developers were incredibly passionate about their work, oh, as yeah. I would expect. So I it was just like they would be. Yeah. I yeah. So I would just like go to say a thing, and then like very excitedly just interject, and I'd be like, "All right, cool. I don't have to say anything." So there's like an hour of chill time, right, <laughs> just yeah. getting to enjoy what was happening. And, and I, there were there were some struggle bus moments, but for the most part, <laughs> yeah, Aqua <laughs> Kitty is not a game that lends itself to commentary. Nah, it doesn't. It's Thankfully, I'm, there was a lot of opportunity for different puns. Yes, this is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Don highest Maku form too, of I comedy. Could, I could at this point talk about Don Maku Two forever, especially because I didn't get to hear the music when you were streaming, and now I have, and it's incredible. Isn't it good? It's good. It's gent. It's like periphery or tesseract type stuff. It oh, it's good. It's real good. I don't even know it killed me there. Wait, why is there? There's like little ice demons that. Oh, I guess I gotta switch. This game's confusing. Also, it's like a silhouette mirage kind of thing going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still need to play that game. <laughs> I miss uh, working designs. Working <laughs> designs is the one that did that, right? <laughs> Oh no, so can you block the lasers with your thing? So what happens is, uh, you, you get level down, which I wasn't even aware I had a level or whatever, but then it, so you, I think you lose a little bit of your power up, but then the game, the, the ship says, oh no, on top of it when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. oh hell. Shot oh me. my. Alright, so I guess I gotta go fire for this switch. Oh gosh, or not. Wow. Um, yeah, the, the yellow bullets can't be blocked by anything. Blue bullets can be blocked by ice. Dark red bullets can but, be blocked by fire. But aren't the bullets changing colors? Like be in faster the... with your eyes, dumb dumb. Wow, this is... <laughs> get, get good at seeing, scrub. 
This is this is ridiculous. It's like they're though. coming out blue and then they turn orange. The other thing is yellow. too, you can't change colors on a dime. You know? Oh, you can't. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, okay. like if you have to charge, to change colors. Mm. Oh. oh shit! It's high speed bomber Infernon. Whatever. Oh, oh he's see. red and blue. Yeah, he they combine. He just couldn't make up his mind. Wow. There's a weird voiceover too this whole time, like magic, magic, level up. You know, every time you <laughs> things. But, awesome. Uh, wicked oh, decent. On. I mean, I guess I sh kinda should have known the dragon head machine guns, but rampage. I I'm assuming I hurt. I hurt things more with the opposite element. <laughs> Just put all them quarters in at once. Well, I, what did I put in before? So there's 425 at least in the machine. We'll say an even five. Mm -hmm. Just 420. Just call it there. There you go. Yeah, that way. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been playing Damaku on your uh, on your tablet device or your uh my phone. Yeah, my I phone really even. Yeah, I really right. cannot see a shooter working on a phone. Yeah, no. Uh, the thing that's nice is they put up a uh, demo version of it of just for free. It's the first level in its entirety on like whatever difficulty. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought the same thing. Like I remembered we were talking about it. I was like, that has to only be for tablet. There's no fucking way. And one of my coworkers is really big into tablets, and I was gonna be like. Hey, here's a game that you can play that's for adults, and um, so I got it for my phone though, just to see like, oh, this, maybe we'll see if this works. It works phenomenally well. Wow. And um, the big thing about it that kind of made the difference is, I was worried it was either going to be like you know separate button virtual button controls, which I despise, right. or it was going to be like you touch and move, but you have to be right on top of your hitbox, which would be awful. Mm. Um, it's just, you can just touch wherever on the screen and move, and it moves your ship relative to that. So, like, your thumb's the controller, but you don't, like, you'll have it way behind, you won't be on top of your hitbox or anything. And then to activate the super beam or the burst mode, it's just you take your second hand and swipe up or swipe down. It works really well. I'm shocked. I thought it was going to be trash and only for tablets, and then I played it and was like, oh, shit, now I'm playing bullet hells on my phone. This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> You, you will get, reach a point where every element of your life, every facet, is going to be a bullet hell. Oh. Yeah, everything's a bullet hell. <laughs> um, and it ran pretty well on my, uh, it's the Moto G, I think this one had. So it worked pretty well. And I was, again, I was baffled. Well, uh, Moto, Android's gonna have pretty big screens, right? Is that like the whole trick there? Like, um, it's fairly big. I mean, I think it's the same as the iPhone, uh, the uh, the 6 that just came out, but not the 6 Plus or whatever it is. Oh shit, it's God. Sorry, God, yeah. Oh, you're the iOS developer. You fucking tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, no, it's the same, but uh, I'm not sure about the screen sizes before, on them. No, it's, um, uh, 640 by 960 and 640 by 1136, uh, pre, -IO, pre, um, iPhone 6. Um, I know six plus is actually like 10, 1920 by ten eighty. Like it's ten eighty p. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a high resolution, and also it's like what an inch and a half bigger or something. It's diagonal, yeah. something it's like that. Five point five inch diagonal. Wait, is that right? I, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's something like that. But either way, yeah, it, this is kind of the standard smartphone size screen, and yeah. Moto G is. I mean, if you're not spending a bunch of dollars, it's probably the best Android phone right now. So it, it's really, it's really good. And the fact just remains that I was like, "Holy shit, Don Maku works!" Are you fucking kidding me? I was just <laughs> like, "This, this should be the worst." And here I am playing it for the last like 30 minutes. God damn it! I'm um, uh, I played R Type on my iPhone and it, it kind of worked. You know, it worked well enough, I guess. Talk about like an emulator? No, no, no. They uh, they sold R Type. Uh, oh, I do have MAME on my uh, iPad, though, because um, basically Apple accepted that for, like, an hour or two. <laughs> like, it got, it got <laughs> oh, through the App Store, whoa. you know? So so it's like it was on the App Store for a while, and if you yeah. bought it, if you bought it, you get to keep using it? Is yeah, that exactly. the thing? Yeah, they don't take away your apps. So there was, like, a flashlight app. You know the whole, like, tethering costs extra money thing? Like, no. if, if you want to make your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot? Uh, carriers usually make you pay extra for that. 
Mm-hmm. There's like no reason for that, but like there's a flashlight app that like on you know tethered automatically. Oh, that's cool, but um, sorry, the the goblins are all into me fighting God apparently. Giant castle Buster. Oh, oh, the Buster. return of Bus Turtler. What? I was supposed to fight an old man though. Oh, yeah, the Turtle story. Lord, the second, or is the old man riding the turtle? Is this what's happening now? Or we got a flying turtle drive going by a wizard man? Oh. Awesome. Oh I, oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, so here's the trick. Those gems behind me, I think, are my level, and I can absorb a shot from the same color a la Ikaruga, but I'll lose a gem, so I can't just keep absorbing it. Yeah, absorb a shot, lose a gem. Classic mechanic. I don't know <laughs> leave a penny, take happening. a penny. Yeah, leave a penny, take a penny, absorb a shot, dodge the yellow bullets, uh, duck dive dip. <laughs> yeah, switch duck colors, games. left to right, left to right, up, up, down, yeah. Fuck whatever. I don't know what's happening. All right. Oh no no no! The gems are bombs. I see. So you lose a bomb if you do it. Oh okay. So it's just a free death bomb. It doesn't matter. You'll just put in more quarters. I know. <laughs> I mean. Jeez, look know. look at this guy using cheat codes on his let's play and just doing an <laughs> awful job, basically ruining. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the most awful I've ever played it. One of each. <laughs> In all fairness, this one seems a lot more unfair than a lot of them you've played. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, these bullets are just, these patterns are way too fast. For... I think this is, this Even... is what you guys were talking about when it's like, it's harder to design a shooter than you'd think. Yeah. Because it, it, you can tell with this one, it's like, okay, this shoots bullets, this shoots bullets, this shoots bullets. Just have them go the fuck everywhere. Right. But whereas with the other one, you have to actually program in the pattern that you can dodge them with. Wait, wait a minute, is this a boss rush? Yeah, it's a boss rush. They're uh, adding R after all the bosses. So it's a, this is, oh wait, is this, is this the second boss dribbling? I forget. Was he the third or the second? I don't know. Well, fuck it. We're just gonna, we're gonna just cheese through this because I don't like dribbling. Just die already dribbling. Nobody likes you. There. Hey, it worked. Awesome. Oh look, they're all, I get it, they're all robots that the goblins are driving this time around. You can see them in the cockpit. Oh, well that makes a lot more oh, sense. Oh shit, look, a ninja! What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of fun, that's kind of awesome. I forgot my robot. <laughs> he doesn't need a robot, he's a ninja master. Uh, Alright, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you, Dimuhu, I wasn't expecting that. Just ninja from nowhere. He's not easy, which I guess is to be expected. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. What a way to go. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, he faked us out. Oh, no, now the samurai thing has absorbed his powers. And, okay. Now he's going to get inside of his Gundam. This still doesn't look like an old man, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> boing, boing, kind of boing. Not, that part's okay, I guess. So who's this lady that pops up? Does she, does she give you power-ups or something? I think she does, yes. Um, this boss is so awful. Yeah, alright. Ah. At least you know where his attacks are coming from? I just wish he didn't move as fast. That's kind of... It's, yeah. It's, this one doesn't feel totally unfair, because I can see the shots coming at least. Uh, alright, now what's he going to jump into? Because I know that. Or no. Oh, he's just dead. Oh, you killed him! Oh. Rip. Oh, well. Hooray. Now... Now what? Come on, what you got, Demo? Yeah, now you fight the chest. Oh. Um... You did it. Great job. Yep. Okay, there's a castle. <laughs> That's a lot of bullets. Oh. Be wary of bullets. I thought I had a little more space. That's annoying, because, like, you can't go flush right with the screen, you know? There's, like, a little buffer. Oh, no, it's Giga Facer! Royal super attacker. Why are we here suddenly? It still doesn't look like an old man, though. I, I don't know. I can see the old man face. Oh, yeah, okay. It's an old man's giant head. Right. Oh, now he's opening his mouth. Yep. Uh, it's my, back in my day. And he's got a Wario mustache. Weren't yeah. we, like, in a castle a second ago, though? I thought. I don't know. Oh, you shaved off his mustache. Oh, I guess. Or, or his, his goatee. Yeah. 
I'd like to remember the uh, remind you of the uh, pilot of the ship you're flying and how he is a man with a large pompadour and a sword comb. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is ridiculous. Well, <laughs> we kind of set a precedent on the character select screen. This is very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is Oh wow, the bullets move back and forth? That's cheating. I don't know how the hell that's so fast. Half like most I think this this is like probably final boss-ish, because we did the boss rush and everything moves with this like incredible speed. Well that that like <laughs> Whatever, okay, the other ones. Alright. Now are you dead? Yep, now you have to fight the old man. Oh, no, no he's that dead. Was the old man. There we go. Good job, Solo Bang. I don't know what that accomplished, but. Oh. All right. Aw. Uh, yeah. And blew a bunch of shit up. Well, okay, goblins are dead, I guess. I'm not getting this... <laughs> like, from that intro, that doesn't lead to this, this swelling of, of, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. This is... Really, yeah. I don't see how this followed from what we did. Alright, thanks, aiding raising staff. It, it's like giving an episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force like a swelling orchestral... Credit sequence. <laughs> wow. That was something. That existed. It, it, it did exist, I will guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still does, technically. Dimahu. 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 Knock, knock, who's there? Dimahu. Well, th thanks for joining me on Dimahu. Uh, is this, is this it? No. Looks, looks like that's it. Whoa! Yeah, was that the kill screen for a second there? I think, I think it was, yeah. That's the... <laughs> I like how even though we got the nice ending, Oops. it's a game over. I got three items. And a plain necklace. And a handbag. Awesome. Oh, we're ready to go to the ball. We're gonna be the bell of the ball. We got the handbag. We got the sack. You got five of... I've actually points. heard you can, like, um... Unlock other fight ships and shit and that, but... I don't. I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Nah. You out of quarters? Yeah, I think I'm out of quarters. Do you wanna? I don't know. I was thinking of maybe just doing a quick crimson clover run to end things, but. Is there such a thing as a quick crimson clover run? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm probably gonna take off. I have some okay. stuff I have to finish up. Yep. Thanks for having me, though. Sure. Thanks for coming in. Take See you, Ty. Have a good one, dude. Tie Tuesday. What a character. Good people.